hogs on the mob planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, 77 cutty, black with the purple strip. What good, Ravens fam? So, the draft is over. The draft is over. I liked it. I liked it. Chill. Day one, chill. Loved it. That's all, that's all who I wanted was Zay. That is all who I wanted. That's all the research I did was on the wide receivers. It's still, I think it's still maybe, I think it's maybe one wide receiver on my list. I had to check. I don't know if they got drafted or not. Because like day, day three, I really wasn't paying attention. I really wasn't paying attention on day three. But, 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 but. And no, uh, it was uh, it was chill. It was good. Um, I live stream back to back. That was fun. That was fun interacting with y'all. Also, shout out to Coach. If y'all don't know who Coach is, y'all slipping. That is Sip to Tally. Also, more Sip to Tally. He helped me out on the um the stream, so I can use that new program, which I like. I like. Uh, so shout out to him as well. If you are not subscribed to both of his channels, please do show the man some love. Great content. Great content. So I've I said the draft is over and um the grades are out. The grades are out. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what everybody's grade is right now. So I'm gonna check that um, probably later today. But for right now, the Ravens popped out their grade. They are uh, reporters and everything like that, ESPN. And I was like, let me check out their grade. I have a feeling on my grade and I'm gonna tell you my opinion. Cause I know some people did, did not like what the Ravens were doing. And some people did. That's, that's life, you know what I'm saying? But so let's check out what the Ravens grades are on line. So Ravens are in strong draft grades despite limited capital. Only five picks, but we came back and got that six. So, and I like that six, by the way. So, we look, Zay, Trenton, Tr Travis, Caillou, Blue, I ain't going to try to say this name in round six. I ain't going to try to say that. And Andrew, I ain't going to mess that that man's name. Now, uh, NFL.com, Chad, I don't know who that is, gave us an A. Gave the Ravens an A. Sporting News gave the Ravens an A. DraftKings, I know I know DraftKings. <laughs> Gray, Gray was an A. Mel Kuyper, B plus. Let's see what he say. Baltimore best move on Thursday, signing Lamar Jackson to a long-term deal, of course. Everything else was overshadowed by the news that the quarterback will be back. Hey, that's funny. And still getting my top ranked wide, wide out, Zay Flowers. Anyway, a few hours later, had to have made Jackson even more happy. Baltimore traded away a second-round pick in the draft to land off ball linebacker with Quan Smith. And it took my top ranked off ball linebacker in class in round three. And Trenton Simpson. Oh, that was his off ball. Okay, okay. Could be a steal. I had him ranked number 35 on my board. He can play on third downs and stick to tight ends in coverage. DaCosta didn't do his usual wheeling and dealing with trades this weekend, but he landed a nice class headline by my guy. It's also my guy, Mel. <laughs> they freaking flowers. All right, so. Oh, where the, uh, okay, there we go. So, that's Mel's. We all know Mel. Nate Davis got a B plus. Uh, the Washington Post. I know you're going to love that rogue pod. Uh, it's um, grade B, New York Post, grade B, Sports Illustrated, grade B, The Ringers, Danny Kelly, grade B, Associated Press, 
grade C plus. What? It didn't even write that much. Did you even look at the draft, Rob? Did you even look at the draft? Like, bro, everybody, look at this. Everybody wrote a lot. At least a, a good, decent amount, I will say. Mainly male. Male wrote the most. But this dude, that that's one sentence. No, hold on, let me see. One sentence. Pretty much one sentence. Grade C plus with Odell Beckham Jr. in the flock. Should have addressed the secondary in the first round instead of taking Zay Flowers at number 22. Went defense with next three picks. See, that, 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 that tell you, that's one of them people that never think about. Ro Pye, you said this too, fam, if you're watching this. This is what he said. And I 100% agree. And I also asked the question. When was the last draft the Ravens didn't draft the cornerback? We continually draft cornerbacks. What do cornerbacks cover? Wide receivers. Nobody was worried about the Ravens' wide receivers. Now, hopefully, they have to. I just want to throw that out there. But a C plus, really? So they he probably wanted defense, a cornerback in the first round. And we got, in my opinion, the best wide receiver in males. Wide receiver, I'm on a, I'm on a coup with Mel because he like my boy too. Uh, wide receiver. So my grade is, I feel that we need everything Eric DaCosta did. Hold on, let me make the screen big. I feel everything that Eric DaCosta did was on point. Like, we needed wide receiver, knocked it out. We needed linebacker, off the ball linebacker, locked, knocked it out. We got our pass rusher. Oh, well, off the ball, another off the ball linebacker, pass, knocked it out. We got a defensive end, knocked it out. We needed a cornerback, got that. We needed an offensive tackle, got that. We needed an offensive... Offensive uh, guard. We got that. That's everything we needed. I know with um, Tavius, PQ. Not, not Tavius, Trenton. He's going to be gone. PQ is going to be gone. PQ probably going to be traded. And I'm like, I like PQ, but will we keep him and not get anything and just let him be a free agent next year? Or will we trade him and get something? I'd rather get something out of nothing. But I like the draft. I would give it. Got my boy Zay. Got my boy say. Everybody else, I'm like, that's how I was going for it, but did what I liked. I came from it. Drafted every position, field. I know some people is not going to like it because he didn't draft when they were available their favorite picks, but he drafted the position. He probably didn't get the, the person you wanted. But you're going to give it a bad grade because again, the person you wanted. Or are you going to go by, hey, we needed these positions. Got them. That's how I was looking at it. I'm like, we got my boy. Like, once again, I said that for like fourth time. We got him. We needed linebacker. We needed defensive, uh, defensive end. We need some help on the the, the defense with uh, Calais being gone. Build that spot. We're going to see what's going to happen with PQ. Build that spot. Marcus Peters, we're going to see what's going to happen with him. Or uh, are we going to get uh, Yazin or whatever? We drafted the cornerback. Nah, he did kind of shut down uh, what's his name a little bit. I just saw a little bit. Because he got him on one play. That was like a 75 yard play. But after that, I didn't see him covering him like that. They like they moved him. Because that, I didn't see him give up anything. But. 
We got a cornerback. We needed an offensive guard. We got that. We needed an offensive tackle. We got that. So, in the offensive tackle, a lot of people are saying they might move him to guard. Because I, a lot of teams have done that. In a lot of what I've heard is a lot of offensive tackles, left tackle, right tackle, they say it's a lot easier playing guard because they had that person right next to them to hold the damn for them. When you're on that left tackle or that right tackle, you ain't got nobody. It's one on one island. But you make some of them, make them a guard easier, they be really good. So that's what I'm thinking the Ravens are going to do. And my grade, I'm going to give them an A. I'm going to give them an A. And you feel that? You feel that the list of everything we need? And straight went down the line. Went down the line and you got everything we needed. And I believe that uh, Trenton, Trenton, I believe Trenton is going to be pretty good. I believe Trenton is going to be really good. I think that was a, maybe a steal, but we shall see. Hopefully, we can these later round picks, they can be some steals. We shall see. I'm not going to put out the, the, the um, we could have done better. Let's just see. I think Zay Flowers is a dog from what I saw with Trenton. I think I think he's really good. He's really good. So I'll give it an A. So what grade do y'all give it? Put it in the comments. Um, I know probably some people probably be like a B or a C. But just, if you're going to give it a C, don't be like, what, what was that guy at the bottom? Don't be like the Associated Press Rob Maddie. Don't be like him. Don't be like him. Now, if we would have got D Hop, that's another video for another time. But we ain't get him. So I'm talking about what's happening in the draft. Anyway, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. Everybody stay safe. God bless.